But we are starting off in Scranton, where Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden dropped by as the votes came in. Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Hayes joins us live with more. Kevin. Well, good morning. Uh, well, yeah, good afternoon, rather, Kelly. Just a block away from the Marywood campus, uh, Scranton's native son and presidential hopeful Joe Biden making one last stop on Election Day to 2446 North Washington for some good luck. <laughs> Now, local polling places have signs up for both candidates vying for the Oval Office, but Scranton got the real deal. President Trump and former Vice President Biden making pit stops in the region recently. Trump yesterday on Election Eve at the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport with thousands. Biden choosing a more intimate setting, his childhood home here in Scranton with a smaller crowd as Election Day well underway. Martin Kearns is one of six siblings who grew up in the old Biden estate here. Had he talked about, uh, you know, in 2008 when he, when he talked about getting, getting in a fight in the backyard. He was showing them, he's like, this is the yard and this is the window. My mother looked out, you know, so it was really, it was really kind of special. He was still best friends with kids in the neighborhood, Jimmy Kennedy right behind here, and, you know, all the other, uh, Tommy Bell and all those guys. And he kept coming back and forth, I think, until he was 15. And then he's been back here about 12 times to visit my mom and do things here. And he comes back for a funeral or a commencement speech. He always stops up at the house. And Kevin was live for us. He says no matter who wins this election, we are still very far from over. And today, of course, remains a historic day across the nation and especially there in Scranton. Meanwhile